Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys a hidden option that enables you to have access to quick toggles straight from your navigation bar on your OnePlus 6, OnePlus 6T or even your Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. Pretty much an Android Pie feature that is available on these devices that you probably didn't know about. This is TK, let's check it out. In front of us we have the Pixel 3 XL, the Pixel 3, and the OnePlus 6T McLaren Edition. And I did a video for you guys here, I'll give you guys a link in the description below yesterday unboxing that. The short answer though is that menu that I'm sharing with you guys today exists on the Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL because of the navigation gestures that they have built in and that's actually where the feature came from. But OnePlus did carry that feature over with the navigation gesture from, uh, for as far as basically giving you access to that. So what we're gonna be able to do here is turn that feature on our OnePlus 6, but I'm gonna share with you guys how this works best on bigger devices as we don't have to go through and do the finger gymnastics of trying to either reach up to the top of the phone or even try to install a custom launcher, even to try to do something special to do like screenshotting and so on. So normal feature, this is what it looks like on their device. The pill, uh, you can swipe up, get into the recents app, go home. Press and hold it to turn on the assistant. Normal stuff, everything pretty much works the same. Now looking over here with the Pixel 3, you'll notice that the menu is existing right there, this little guy on the bottom right. Uh, now it gives us access to a few things that we normally have to either look for or reach for. So we can lock the screen, we can hit the power button to turn on the power menu, as well as the accessibility option, which is where we need to go to turn this feature on. Last but not least, of course, is we have options here to be able to turn on the assistant, uh, volume control, if you just click that, it'll open up right there, as well as the ability of going into quick settings, opening up everything, or you can go into notification, which opens up just the notification. So that's different than just swiping down with your fingerprint sensor. And of course, we have the ability of doing a screenshot. So let's say we go into Twitter and I'll go in here and I'll do a screenshot. It'll take a screenshot, save it up to the top, and then we'll be able to edit there in the editor. Uh, last but not least, of course, is like I said, we have the ability of going into accessibility settings, and that's where we be, need to go in to be able to turn it on. And it's under accessibility in your device, under settings, and then it's called the accessibility menu. I have it on right now, and it's obviously turned on, and that's how it comes on. If I turn it off, I'll click OK, the little guy goes away, turn it again back on, click OK, and it'll just turn on right there. It's very functional, very, very nice, and of course, I can just jump into recents, very easy, very quick. Uh, and it just, again, something that's really nice and it's built into your system that you probably didn't know. It works best with bigger devices, obviously, since it kind of saves us from having a reach or overreach. Now, as far as the OnePlus 6T, here it is. I have that feature turned on right away here. Here, it's a little bit different. You do have to go into settings, you go about system, and then you go accessibility. So on your Pixel device, uh, Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL, or even actually if you have Pixel 2, because I did have a chance to check it out right there. It is running on the Pixel 2. And this is of course running Android Pie. So if you're not running Android Pie, this probably is not gonna be available for you. Um, here, we just scroll down to accessibility and of course, scroll down to accessibility menu here. It's sitting under the accessibility under system and you just have to turn it on. I'm gonna keep it on for now. And of course, it does work. Uh, unfortunately, it does not carry over the theme of the system. So if you're running a dark theme, it doesn't carry. The last thing I wanna share with you guys here is that on the OnePlus 6T, it has one more feature that we don't have on the Pixel 3 or the Pixel 3 XL. Because on the Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL, they removed the home recents and back button. And as far as navigation, you only have the option of going with the navigation pill. But here, if you go back to the standard nor normal, you know, home back and recent options, you have the ability of keeping that little accessibility option turned on. So on the OnePlus 6T or OnePlus 6, you have the ability of using it during the standard gestures that you have like the Pixel 3 XL or the Pixel 3 or with the standard home recent and back option as an option here. And if you don't want it, you can of course go into the settings and of course just go back and we'll go back one more time, go into system, accessibility, and then right there, accessibility menu, and then just turn it off and you'll be back to your normal navigation bar. Now, I'm pretty sure not everybody's gonna be using this feature, but it is definitely something nice and most people did not know existed. Uh, the really cool thing about it and the way it works on the OnePlus 6T is that it actually has an extra feature and that's because of the way OnePlus did their operating system. They kept the navigation bar the same way we've had it typically, which is the home, recents, and back. So turning on this feature adds an extra button to it. And if you're using the standard, let's say, pixel style uh, gestures, you get that at the same way it runs on the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL. Again, I tested it on the Pixel 2, so I'm assuming if you're running a Pixel device with an Android Pie ROM, this should be a feature that you can access. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this feature? I'm really happy that, of course, it's available on the OnePlus devices, and the fact that OnePlus carried over that from the Pixel devices, as this gives us a little bit more functionalities, and again, to minimize the finger gymnastics that we have to do on our devices on a daily basis to access, let's say, the top part of our screen. Uh, this is TK, I wanna say thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video.